Hey everyone, it's Andrew Cartwright, TGIF. Happy Friday. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, your fourth stimulus check. For some people, their fifth stimulus check. Executive action, executive order, and stimulus package update for Friday, May 21st, 2021. It is the end of May, closely approaching. Find out how Japanese citizens were able to receive a U.S. stimulus check. How the Treasury Department has handed out over more than $6 billion in disaster relief funds to deserving Americans. And the great news of one state paying out vital stimulus checks to citizens. The most unbelievable vaccine motivation you ever thought of. And three tips on what kept me successful or failing in business that I discovered after 20 years. After this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Guess what? There's a bounty for that. $1,900, yes, $1,900 in cash. I'm giving it away. All you've got to do, subscribe, like, and comment. People have put in the comments, they've already lost weight by pressing the like button. It's confirmed, it's scientific, scientific evidence now based on the comments. So if you read the comments, you'll see our audience has actually lost weight by subscribing, liking, and commenting. I don't know how it's happening, but it's amazing. And that like button, it just loves you. And it just, it's such a calorie burner, it's amazing. I don't know how it does it. But when you do that, when we get 190,000 subscribers, I'm launching out $1,900 to one of those random comments. So just randomly put stuff in there. It doesn't matter what you say. If you say something that communicates with us though, we love talking to you. I love talking to you. Also down below, grab your Weeble stock, two stocks for free valued up to $1,800. Not kidding, limited time offer, unbelievable. If you doubt it, check it out. It's the link that says two free stocks. Also my real estate program, $4,000 program, yours for $99 with the code Boom. I know some people have like emailed me asking like, what's the code? It's boom. It's in the description. That $4,000 course, I want you to succeed and not fail in real estate for $99. It could save you a lot of money and probably make you a lot of money because you'll know how market timing affects when you buy and how you buy and what you should buy. And finally, thanks to my patrons. You guys rock, rock. But first, a Japanese citizen that previously lived in America are receiving Yes, $1,400 stimulus checks from President Biden's most recent stimulus package, even though they aren't, they're ineligible for the funds. Like they shouldn't be getting it. According to reporter Asahi Shabun, man, Shabun, I think that's it. Quote, the recipients, non-citizens who once lived in America but left a long time ago, posted online that they were surprised to receive a stimulus check from the U.S. Treasury. Was it a thank you for being an American citizen? Thanks for all your tax money. The IRS explained, quote, those who are living outside of the U.S. in 2021 no longer qualify to get checks, which are sent out based on income claims on tax returns to U.S. citizens and residents. They also stated, quote, foreign nationals overseas who receive these checks should void them and send them back. Quote, tell me, uh, folks, do you think they'll void them and send them back? I'd love to know. I guess, uh, are we, uh, you know, everybody's like going to do the right thing and this wasn't my money or 1400 bucks from the government. I'm just going to do it. What are they going to do? Are we going to go to Japan to collect the money back? We're going to fly over there. Biden's going to get on a plane, go over there and say, hey, give me my $1,400. How do we even collect $1,400 back from them if they're in Japan? With so many stimulus checks issued to millions of Americans, it's frustrating to see disaster relief funds distributed to people that aren't even eligible for funds instead of the people that need them most, the people that haven't gotten them. It's so crazy. It's we live in such a weird world, right? Like you should get unemployment, but you can't. You should get a stimulus check, but you don't because of problems. And people that don't deserve it are just getting it random. Like, well, what is this? Meanwhile, the Treasury Department announced earlier today that they have sent out over $6 billion in stimulus funds to renters 
and landlords across America. So thank goodness, hopefully, those bridging communications. If you're not currently talking to your landlord or your mortgage company, I strongly suggest having friends that service millions and millions of loans, get in contact with your mortgage servicer or your bank and make sure you have a great relationship with them because even though you're getting the forbearance and everything, you don't want them to go to the legal side of it where they end up spending money because ultimately you'd have to pay that to get your house in good shape. Even better, more money is still on its way though for those landlords and renters so make sure you reach out and get that money to help you get through this tough time. Congress has approved more than $45 billion in rental assistance. With over $30 billion of money currently available for states across America and the rest of the eligible, you know, it's available over the next few months. So please don't miss out on that. You watch my channel for a reason. That reason is about 30 million reasons. So go reach out and touch your local government and get the money that you deserve. Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, Walt, Wally Adamino. What? Where are these names coming from today? Adamino, it's like an amino acid kind of, it, all these articles are in the description if you want to know the real names, folks. Explain, quote, Treasury is committed to providing direct, rapid support to those impacted by the pandemic and address the deeply, deeply dis, uh, disparities in our housing system that threaten our community recovery. So that is what they're saying. This is to help people that have like, aren't able to pay their bills, aren't able to pay a house payment. According to the National Low Income Housing Coalition, more than 350 stimulus programs are available to assist struggling Americans with vital, vital federal rental assistance. This is great news for renters and for landlords that have been like avoiding each other, even at the grocery store. Maybe they went to the same grocery store. They went to Smith's. Now the guy's going to Albertsons. He's like, I don't even know where stuff is in Albertsons. I want to go back to Smith's where my landlord is. And the landlord's like, what happened to my renter? They like fell off the map. I see the car in the driveway, but I never see him anymore. So across the country, you guys can finally come together with these disaster relief funds that can put both of these groups afloat as we dive in deeper into 2021. We gotta fix a lot of problems, folks. It's time to like mend those fences and figure stuff out so that we can be safer going forward. And finally, some incredible news from the great state of North Carolina. Governor Ron uh, Roy Cooper um, announced earlier this week that he intends to put 250 million in disaster relief funds in stimulus checks to low and middle income families. Not just low, but you middle guys. You might get some money here. Married couples and single filers earning less than 15,000 annually will be eligible for a $500 check. While this makes more, will be able to claim $250 disaster relief stimulus check. So if you make more, 250 bucks, hey, it's a dinner, right? And then if you make less, it's kind of a big impact, 500 bucks. Cooper explained, quote, this is good idea put forth by legislation. It has helped a lot of families. We include this in our proposal because of our input we got from a number of legislators that they would like to continue it, end quote. It's fantastic for them, right? This is great news for all my viewers in the Tar Heel State. And I hope that you all are able to claim these vital funds and get an extra check, an extra boost. Well, this concludes the stimulus side, second stimulus side, and executive action stimulus package for Friday, May 21st, 2021. And for sticking around here, you get some extra treats. The vaccination that has the biggest motivation, which is unbelievable. It can only happen in Vegas. It's at a place that's called Hus, finish the rest, and you get a dance, a drink and a limo ride, as well as a platinum card to come back here. Yes, and it's a place where clothes are optional for the person, da yeah, you, you can figure it out. Can you believe that? You get vaccinated, you get a drink, you get a limo ride, and you get a dance. It's wild. It's kind of unfair though. I think, has, I think it's only one, yeah, I think both maybe. And those three tips on being successful, the difference for me between successful and failure in business, Three things, say it fast, purpose, uh, passion, purpose, and also path. First, passion. 
If you don't have passion for something, you're probably not gonna succeed. I've gotten businesses that I did just for money, and as a result, I failed desperately because I didn't keep up with the trends. I wasn't excited about learning about the business, nothing. So it failed, and I've failed in business several times. I've succeeded more than I've failed, thank God, right? But the second thing is purpose. What are you solving? What is the problem that you're excited about solving for people? And third, most important, is there a path to do that? Real simple, purpose, right? Um, path and passion. So those three things, take it, check it out for yourself, and love you, take care.